or jerk away. But, you know, that's you can't do that when you are a slave. Now, of course, de Blasio, he'll break laws with impunity, but you and I, we must obey. Especially if you want to vote. And while you thought criminals are out there voting for the next mayor of your city, don't think you can just roll up to the voting booth with your First Amendment intact, especially when that involves expressing your position on the Second Amendment. Chris Driscoll was prevented from voting at the Waller County Courthouse in Texas on Tuesday after officials claimed he was violating Texas Election Code Section 85.036, which states that a person may not electioneer for or against any candidate, measure, or political party in or within 100 feet of a voting location. Now, the officials used the election law to throw Driscoll out of the voting booth, even though the shirt simply stated, Second Amendment 1789, America's original homeland security. This was on the front without any mention of a political candidate or proposition. So again, here we have a simple attack on free speech and voting rights through the color of law, as well as just another example of this continued need to demonize gun owners and to try and brainwash people into accept accepting an infringement on their rights, be it their First Amendment right, their Second Amendment right. It's just, it's chaos. Don't fall into this Obama agenda. And instead of falling for Obama's gun-grabbing scheme, show your support for your God-given right to defend yourself. Pick up one of these Molon Lobby t-shirts, and you know what? Wear it in to the voting booth. Wear it in to go vote, and if they kick you out, Get it on video and send it in because that is going to be a sensational story. Wh whatever happened to our First Amendment rights, especially at the voting booth, it just doesn't make sense. Now, stick around because David Knight is going to have a very special report about the drug Paxil. It's being given to women who are going through breast cancer treatment, but it has some very bizarre side effects. And no, I'm not just talking about being an SSRI. It's actually much worse than that. And then we're going to have an excerpt from the interview with uh, Alex Jones. Jerome Corsi was on the show today speaking about the top military purge by the Obama administration. Stick around. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com.
Now, we've reported the connection that SSRIs have with mass murder, but what's the connection between SSRIs and cancer? David Knight has more. The popular antidepressant Paxil, we now learn, greatly increases the risk of breast cancer. The LA Times reports that a team of researchers has developed a speedy way to identify drugs and chemicals that can disrupt the balance of sex hormones in human beings and influence the development and progress of diseases like breast cancer. The new study singled out the popular antidepressant paroxetine, better known by its commercial name Paxil. Now, Paxil's been on the market since 1992. Almost a quarter of American women in their 40s and 50s are taking an antidepressant, mostly SSRIs. And you might suspect that women who have cancer would be much more likely to be depressed and to be given this drug as a solution. Now, the article points out that there was also a 2010 study that found that breast cancer patients in Canada who were taking Paxil were much more likely than those taking other antidepressants to die of breast cancer when there was a substantial overlap in their use of the drug and tamoxifen to prevent breast cancer recurrence. Big Pharma won't tell you this, but one of the best treatments for depression is walking. Walking doesn't just improve your mental health, it helps your physical health as well. But pharmaceuticals often destroy your mental and physical health. Not only does Paxil's estrogen effect increase cancer risk and mortality, but Paxil is in a class of drugs known as SSRI. InfoWars has reported for years that SSRI antidepressants like Prozac, Zoloft, and Paxil have not just made people suicidal, as the drug manufacturers are forced to admit, but has made them homicidal. Documented cases going back to the 1980s show the common thread in mass murders is that the murderer is often on SSRIs. Knives, bats, rocks, so kill, kill, kill many, many Let's times talk, more. Alex, Let's talk it's about not the, the gun. It's not the rock. It's not the right. knife. When a mother chops Alex, her kids up with a cleaver because she's on serotonin. Alex, tell me why I'm wrong. Why don't you want to get AR rid of the drugs? Because they're half your sponsors? Then stick to the, to the subject. America's number one cause of unnatural death now is suicide. Okay. Alex, not not automobile accident, not cancer. Not, you listen. accuse me of attacking the Second Amendment of the Constitution. I want to get people off pills that the insert says will Alex, make you commit suicide Alex, and kill people. Alex. But now we have one more reason for you to stay off or to keep your loved ones off of this dangerous class of drugs. If the public won't listen to the documented link between suicide, between mass murder and these pills, maybe they will pay attention to another more subtle form of mass murder, cancer-inducing pharmaceuticals. Well, over the last year, we have seen a major purging of top military brass. Well, today, Jerome Corsi came on The Alex Jones Show to discuss the Obama administration's involvement. So, so much happening. So, A, thanks for coming on. B, uh, you've been studying this from every angle, and WorldNet Daily has the connections to the generals. You've been interviewing them along with Mr. Maloof. What's really going on? Well, I, I spoke to uh, General Boykin very recently, and uh, there's no doubt that the Obama administration is purging the military. I mean, the replacement of generals uh, is at an all-time high. Uh, I think there were something like eight generals who were replaced. This is generals and flag officers replaced last year. I think there were four in the first term. Uh, of, of Obama, and the, the pace is a accelerating. Uh, the replacements that bother me the most are the ones you mentioned. There's two categories that bother me the most. One is these um, replacements over Benghazi, starting with General Ham, who, of course, was in charge of the African Command. And General Ham, from the beginning, was critical, saying that we could have gotten reinforcements to Benghazi in time, and then, a, then was also replaced uh, General Baker, who um, headed one of the task forces in Africa and claimed that we could have gotten helicopter relief to the council or to the Benghazi compound of course. during the surge. Uh, and then the next round of, uh, of replacements and pressure seems to be on any military with traditional values. In other words, expressing positive belief in God or not accepting the LGBT agenda. And, and we have the memos. They say if you're an evangelical, a part of the Tea Party, you could be brought up on court martial. Yes, right. Exactly. I mean, it's being it, the, the pressure now is that anyone who um, holds traditional values, believing in the Constitution, including the First Amendment rights of religion, is suspect. Uh, as a hater or as a 
denier of the rights of the LGBT community. It's really turning the Constitution on its head, such that the military is being placed into a bind where profession of Christian beliefs is going to be detrimental to career advancement. And uh, that's, that's, a, you know, that's fundamental to the reason we have the First Amendment, is that people who are, you know, we should as citizens be able to enjoy, including in the military, constitutional rights, including the freedom to believe and express your... Well, religion. sure. I mean, they're trying to dominate reality, taking the majority of the American people and then just listing us as extremists or terrorists. Right. And then we're all supposed to just sing from their sheet of music. Uh, and, and, and we can laugh at this, but it's not a laughing matter when they're purging almost the entire nuclear force. They're, uh, and I think there's more to it than just the political correctness. They are... I think I think they're thinking about a long-term coup of the government itself, more of a soft coup, not that Obama would stay in office. It's just that they're getting all their judges, all their operatives in, so there's a coup of the bureaucracy even more than there already has been. Well, well clearly there's a reduction, a major reduction in the U.S. military capacity to uh, wage war to defend the country. I mean, I don't think we could today launch a two-operations war as we did under George W. Bush, uh, certainly not if the wars were in different theaters. I don't see how it's possible. The military has been so reduced in capability. Uh, the training has not occurred. Uh, we have reduced forces across the board in every one of the major services, fewer airplanes, fewer uh, naval ships, uh, just a reduction in force in general. And the American people are unaware of it. I mean, it's a leveling down of the power of the United States where whoever is, follows Obama is going to face a military that reminds me of a pre-World War I military in the United States, just completely incapable of being a major military force in the world. And China at the same time is ramping up, uh, expressing you know, belligerent intent, in various controversies with Japan. And our Pacific fleet is again in a diminished position. Thank you so much for tuning into the show tonight. Now please go to Prison Planet TV and become a subscriber. You'll help support this operation and you'll also get instant access to the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, all of our special reports, movies, the rants. It's all with unlimited instant streaming. And of course, as always, you can share your username and password with up to 11 other people. Now thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We'll see you here again Monday at 7 p.m. Central. We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.